Today, we got Ronnie from The Shy. Let's get it. Was Ronnie a hero to y'all in the end? Like, at the time of his death? This is one of the more intricate characters I didn't cover. Ronnie killed a whole innocent kid. I want to talk with you a minute. You up on 79th? Nah. My son was killed up there. I don't know nothing about that. In the opening season, constantly got drunk and just did dumb shit, but he also did good shit. Like, I'm filled with questions. I want to hear y'all point of view. What was the theme of this character? Nobody's perfect. We only human. Or is that the theme of the shy as a whole? Like, I'm kind of confused. Why tell that story? Ronnie was a war hero, beat down by life and addiction. In the end, he ended up doing a good deed, something he had been looking to do since he returned from the military to make his grandmother proud. I still haven't done enough to make you proud of me yet, Grandma, but I will. He got tired of people looking down on him and judging him, which was well-deserved after what he did to Googie. He saved Keisha even if he broke in there and got his ass whooped. What are you doing? He found her. He did that one thing he needed to do, which won him back favor in the city. Well, what can I get y'all? Uh-uh, nah. Why they get special treatment? I don't chill, bro. This motherfucker's a hero. And in his mind, favor with God. Plus, Tracy was about to get back with him. Life was good, but I got one question. Why did he need to die? After all that, I only got one answer. Karma is the only explanation. It's the only way I can justify this because the show just keeps going on. He wasn't necessarily a bad guy, but he did an extremely bad thing. And none of those good deeds he was doing outweighed the murder of Kugi. Even saving Keisha, going to church, painting the rec center, all of it, it just didn't matter no more. Tough. He got walked down in front of the woman he loved. That's the Kugi motherfucker. Somebody please help me. The woman this all started for. And now she's smashing the homie doodah, doodah. Now what's killing me is she was wondering and looking for who killed Jason. She know who killed Ronnie and hasn't done one thing at all. At least where I'm at. At this point, I'm only on like season five, episode four. There's one bright side. I mean, he's still dead, but his good karma was slightly repaid. His name was kept alive by Keisha's child. Welcome to the world, Ronnie. So I guess that's something. But I gotta ask y'all, do y'all still think he deserved to die? I'm gonna let y'all answer that down in the comments because personally, I'm not mad he got walked down. Honestly, I'm not happy either. This one of them characters, I'm just like, damn. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, hit that like and subscribe button. We got that Menace to Society versus Boys in the Hood coming up soon. And that new season of Power about to drop. So, man, stay tuned in, man. Hit that subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.